In Photoshop, there are two panels in particular that are very useful, and they are the Navigator and History panels. To make room for more panels, you can simply click on the double arrow situated on top of any panel group and collapse them down to their icons. You can do the same thing with the Tools panel and change it into two columns of tools instead of just one. Now let's go to the Windows menu and select the Navigator panel. The Navigator panel is used for moving an image in its window and for changing the zoom level of that image. Users can use the Zoom Out buttons as well as the Zoom In buttons. In between the Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons, you'll notice the Zoom slider. You can drag that to the left or to the right in order to change the image's zoom level. The zoom level is indicated as a percentage in three locations. On the Image tab in the Document window, in the lower left corner of the Document window, and in the lower left corner of the Navigator panel. The red rectangular outline or view box inside of the Navigator panel represents the area of the image that appears in the Document window. Now that we've worked with the Navigator panel, let's move on and select the History panel under the Windows menu. The History panel records each change that is applied to an image and lists them as a separate state, with the bottommost state being the most recent. Clicking on a prior state restores the document to that stage of the editing process. So for example, if you select the Brush tool and use it to paint all over your canvas, then select the Quick Selection tool to make a selection, and then select the Healing Brush tool to sample the moon and apply it somewhere to the background, you'll see all of the changes listed in the History panel. But if you simply click on the Open step, then the image will revert back to its original state.